Good day guys, today we're going to determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction using parallelogram law. This problem is from the book Engineering Mechanics, specifically Statics, by Russell Hebler on its 14th edition. So let's read the problem first. If theta is equals to 60 degrees and F or force is equals to 450 newton, Determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So guys, in solving the resultant force, we need to make a parallelogram, guys, based on our forces. But before that, let's substitute the value from the given. It states here that our theta, which is right here, is equals to 60 degrees. And our force is equals to... 450 newton so let's make this as our force one and at the bottom right here let's make this as our force number two now guys let's make the parallelogram so from the tip of our force two guys let's make a line parallel to our force one when we say guys parallel so it must have the same direction as what the direction of our force one since this is parallel to our force 1 guys this is also 450 newton now let's draw another line that is parallel to our force number 2 from the tip of our force 1 let's draw a line parallel to our force 2 here guys since this this line is parallel to our force 2 then that also is 700 newton now that we form a parallelogram guys, let's determine its interior angles. And the sum of all interior angles of a parallelogram is 360 degrees. And the angle from here and here is equal guys because they are opposite. Also the angle from here to here is also equal. So let's determine the angles. Since this is this theta guys is 60 degrees then angle here to here guys is 30 degrees since 90 minus 60 is 30 and the angle guys from here to here guys that is 90 degrees so to sum up all the angles from here guys let's add this 15 degrees so 15 plus 90 plus 30 that is 135 degrees so the sum of our angles right here I mean 135 degrees since the angle right here guys is opposite to that side this must also be 135 degrees now that we already have the value for the two sides of our interior angle so let's subtract so let's subtract 360 to the value that we already have guys so 360 minus 135 minus 135 and let's divide that by 2 since both of this angle guys is equal so we can have let's say this is angle a guys so our angle a is equals to 45 degrees so we already we now have the value for the side this this interior angle which is 45 degrees and this also it must be 45 degrees guys and guys our resultant force guys is from the tip of our forces guys let's make a line directed to the tip of the parallel lines which we made guys so here that is our the line of our resultant force guys this red line as you notice the resultant line divided our parallelogram into two congruent triangles so we can use that to solve for the resultant force so let's use this side guys of a triangle but we can also use this side of triangle this at the bottom side because that too is congruent or has the same dimensions so it's up to you guys let's rewrite this triangle Let's copy the dimensions guys. So we 
we have right here 700 newton right here is 450 newton and the angle here is 45 degrees so let's make this as our angle a this right here as our side a here is our angle b and right here 450 newton is our side b right here is our angle c and here 700 is our side c remember guys that this red line is our the line of our resultant force so r is equals to our a so let's find the value for our a since this triangle guys is not right triangle so we cannot apply so katua instead we can apply the law of cosine and law of sine since we already have the two value of the sides and one angle we can use the formula of the law of cosines which is a squared is equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2 bc cos a so let's substitute the value guys so a squared is equals to the value for b is 450 squared plus the value of c is 700 squared minus 2 450 700 cos 45 degrees so let's square root both side thus we can get the value for a is equals to 497.01 since our r is equals to a then our the magnitude of our resultant force is 497.01 so we already have the magnitude for our resultant force now let's get its direction it states here that the direction must be measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis what the problem means is that from the positive x-axis we rotate counterclockwise towards the resultant force so here from here to to the line of our resultant force since we already have an angle of 60 degrees we need to find the, the angle from here guys so that we can add 60 and our angle right here then we can get the direction measured counterclockwise from our positive x-axis so we need to get here guys our our angle c so we need to get the value for our angle c guys and also guys in getting the angle c guys we can also use the law of sine since we already have many values but since our angle c is an obtuse angle guys sometimes the law of sine is not accurate so it's better to use the law of cosine guys so we can also apply again the law of cosine since we are finding the angle c so let's use the formula for the side c which is c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared minus 2 a b cos c remember guys that the value that we need to find is the angle of c guys here not the side c we already have the value for our side c which is 700 so let's substitute the values so we have 700 squared is equals to the value for side a is we have 497.01 squared plus the value for b is side b is 450 squared minus 2 497.01 the value for b is 450 then cos c so let's transpose this guys to the other side so that will make 700 squared minus 497.1 squared minus 450 squared is equals to negative 2 
497.01 and 450 cos C. So let's divide this by this value so that we can cancel this one. Also, let's divide this side, guys. 2, negative 2, 497, 450. So that will cancel this. So the remaining is we have cos C is equals to 700 squared minus 497.01 squared minus 450 squared over negative 2 497 and 450 so let's cancel this cost guys since the only thing that we need to get is the C so C is equals to our cost guys 700 squared minus 497.01 squared minus 450 squared over negative 2 497 and 450 so the value for our angle C guys is 95.5 4 degrees but guys let us remember that angle C is the value only guys from this angle this guys not the direction counterclockwise from positive x axis so if we need to find the measured counterclockwise from positive x axis we need to add the 60 degrees so the direction for our resultant guys is equals to 95.1924 plus 60 and that is 155.19 degrees angle with respect to x-axis counterclockwise that is the direction of our resultant force